<laughs> Anywho, uh, welcome back for uh, Act Three of this uh, Reactor Blocks West Coast tutorial uh, extravaganza. I'm right into so. This next one, we're going to look at the CFG. Now, there's several ways I could probably film this tutorial. In fact, I might do a couple because just one example is not going to show exactly what can do. But I think I'm going to start with this one because it's the most basic. Um, let me actually turn off a lot of those effects. First thing I want to mention is I use uh, reactor blocks inside a machine all the time because to get more of that modular feeling... Uh, I like to add a lot of the effects from machine because they're so hands-on, they're so easy to use right away and switch between it. And then you're turning knobs and it feels kind of like a modular in a lot of ways. So let me just bypass some of these suckers. There was a reverb on there, a delay, a transient master, a flanger, etc. So we'll come right to the sound level. And that's a little more generic to see what we're looking at. So I've taken a keyboard out of the equation, as you should, with West Coast Synthesis. And we're just running a gate into a clock divider. The clock divider is, if, you're on, if you don't understand, it'll send six separate clocks based on what the gate message coming into it is. So I've got quarter notes hitting here. And then the quarter note can choose when each shot is going to come. Okay? So we have the carrier, the mod and the timbre section of just one single DWG running out into separate channels on the mixer. I've got them color-coded as best I could. Uh, carrier, mod, and the pink, purple, is because it's a combination of uh, the red and the blue hues. And what you have now is four separate envelopes, envelope generators, if you will. These don't have to necessarily trigger sounds. These can be modulators as well. Don't Always think of an envelope like it's going to run into, you know, your master amplifier to shape the sound. Remember, envelopes can do anything. In this case, I'm triggering sounds because I think it's going to help you wrap your head around it. So three gates all running at separate intervals, each going out. Let's just highlight that to modulate A of each VCA. And this is just going to trigger it on, basically, depending on the shape of the envelope. All right. So let's look, in fact, let's just turn off. So one is triggering our carrier. Our carrier is just set to a frequency on a square wave with a judicious amount of <laughs> FM to kind of give it a chirpy, weird sound. And I can change the frequency to get this interesting kind of drum sound, right? So I've kind of had it in my hi-hats. I can turn this up to 16 notes if I want. That's hurting my ears. I'm sure it would hurt yours as well. So this is just going to trigger. And it's being triggered by the section one. Let's call it channel one, if you will. All right. And now we can shape it further. Adjust the shape, the time. Get it real percussive. Or have it hang out a bit. So right away, you can kind of manipulate each one. So let's bring in two, which is the mod, which I have just hitting on quarter notes now. Now, what's interesting here is that because we're only using one instance of the DWG, the mod is going to influence the carrier. You're hearing both, meaning I know this is going to get really disrupt our sound but it's also kind of fun and it's also fun to limit yourself to just a single module like this because you can you can do so much with just one module sometimes we forget that we don't have to throw the whole kitchen sink in there right so right away we're getting interesting sounds i kind of had it where i was doing a bass type thing before i also have some macro controls mapped to my uh my little x session and uh, you can see these macro controls. We haven't looked at this one. This is a new macro, macro knobs. You can just come out into a mod and then have this actually modulate multiple things, right? I haven't even 
Yep, so one knob can modulate multiple things. If you do, if you want a little more flexibility, you want like an LFO doing your modulation, well, you can kind of just get this nice little block to uh, to do some mods here. So FM and uh, waveform of the mod. So we can adjust that a little further. And let's bring in three as well, which was just a one shot of the timbre section. And that's hitting every once in a while. And it's a nice slow attack, so it's kind of giving you this droney. So kind of interesting, as you can see, four discrete channels if you want. Now we can do further and I think I'm gonna have to shoot another tutorial just to explain that because uh, you can have these things run in all sorts of ways. Uh, different configurations of how they're gonna trigger from one to the next. Right, whether they're gonna go from one to four. Really slick. So the four by one, that's how you should start. Make it nice and simple so you can see what you're doing and go from there. And then destroy it. I don't know. Just getting nuts. Experiment. <laughs>